Hello everyone, welcome to Health Info Channel. My name is Daisy, and in today's video, I will introduce to you the information related to hand, foot, and mouth disease. In this video, we will provide information about what is hand, foot, and mouth disease. The cause and symptoms of hand foot mouth disease. The complication and treatment methods of hand foot mouth disease. And lastly, we also have you provide some solution to make sure the hand foot and mouth disease is not spread. Now, let's begin. In the first part of video, let's define what is hand, foot, and mouth disease. Hand, foot, and mouth disease is a viral infection common in children under 5 years old. However, it can also be witnessed in adults. The disease is characterized by sores in the mouth and a rash on the hands and feet. And the most popular causative agent of this other is Corsicai virus. For the one who didn't know, Corsicai virus are part of the enterovirus family of viruses which also includes poliovirus and hepatitic A virus that live in the human digestive tract. Go deeper into the cause, the most common type causing hand, foot, and mouth disease is Corsicai virus A system. The virus is spread by person to person contact with an infected person via nasal secretion or throat discharge, saliva, food from blister, stone, respiratory droplet sprayed into the air of the a cough or sneeze. So, what are the symptoms of hand, foot, and mouth disease? Fever is one of the earliest symptoms when the baby has disease. It appears after three to six days of the baby catching virus. Besides, children also may have a flu-like symptoms. For instance, eating and drinking less, or feeling unwell. On the next one or two days, the baby could have a sore throat, also appear in the mouth and on the tongue. The sore usually starts as small red spots, often in the back of their mouth, and that place there can become painful. This meant the baby just want to drink cold food. Then they start to get skin rash on the palms, soles, and sometimes on the borders. The symptoms are usually the same in adults and children, but they can be watched in babies and children and their five. For the complications of hand, foot, mouth disease, dehydration is the most common complication of hand, foot, and mouth disease. This is not too serious, but it needs to be watched closely in children. In some cases, intravenous food may be necessary. Viral meningitis and encephalitis are rare but serious complications of hand foot mouth disease. Next, Let's find out how to treat hand, foot, mouth disease. There is no specific treatment for hand, foot, and mouth disease. All the signs and symptoms usually clear seven to ten days. However, having a suitable diet 
and using topical oral anesthetic can help patients feel better. A topical oral anesthetic may help relieve the pain of mouth sores, while acetaminophen or ibuprofen may help relieve general discomfort and fever. For the diet, avoid giving irritating foods like spicy, salty, or sharp foods. Also, avoid foods that need much chewing. Change a soft diet for a few days and encourage plenty of clear foods. Cool drinks, yogurt, desert pudding are often received. Don't forget to rinse the mouth with clean water after meals. And in the last part of the video, Let's find out some solution to prevent the hand foot mouth disease. Because hand foot mouth disease is easily spread, especially from children to children in the kindergarten. So it is necessary to know how to prevent the disease. First, wash hands carefully. Wash your hands frequently and thoroughly, especially after using the toilet and changing before preparing food and eating, when shop and water are not available, use hand wipes or use treated with germ killing alcohol. Second, disinfect common area. Get in the habit of cleaning high traffic areas and surfaces first with shop and water. Then, a diluted solution of chlorine bleach and water. Chai care center should follow a strict pattern of cleaning and disinfecting on common areas, including shared items such as toys, as the virus can live on the objects for days. Clean your baby passive for often. Third, ditch good hygiene. So your children how to practice good hygiene and how to keep themselves clean. Explain to them why it's bad not to put their finger, hands, and any other objects in their mouths. And finally, isolate congested people. Because hand, foot, and mouth disease is highly contagious. People will initially limit their exposure to others while they have an exercise and symptoms. Keep children with hand, foot, and mouth disease out of child care or school until fever is gone or mouth sore have healed. If you have an illness, stay home from work. On information related to hand, foot, and mouth disease. Thanks for listening and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for handful. Bye bye and see you on the next video.